will say, hey, but other folks have covered this before, and gosh, so have you. Well, you remember Rebecca Black OS, the OS that was supposed to be a joke, and was also one of the first OSs to successfully show how Wayland could operate? Well, kind of me surprised, but I discovered today that uh, through all these years, the developers have been keeping Rebecca Black OS up, up to date. That's right. It's not the as far back as it used to be. It actually is, still exists. And I thought, well, you know what? Why not let's look at the updated version of Rebecca Black OS? Because I doubt anyone else is. So now we have the different desktop environments to choose from. We have Western Desktop, uh, Enlightenment, KDE Plasma, um, Wayfire, and I'm going to choose the default Western Desktop. Why? <laughs> Why not? Don't know if it even works, but hey. And here we have the app wallet application launcher. You know, for something that's still been kept up to date, I just don't think they update the individual packages. I think they've just been updating some stuff behind the scenes, in all honesty. Although, there is Falcon. Okay, how do we update the That's application launcher? Let's help. Let's shut down. Maybe I should have chosen KD. Uh, that's volume, that's network connections. Oh, okay. Oh, let's do. Uh, settings. Like, how do I get this wrong? Oh. That kind of works. And you see, it is being updated. This is running Plasma 5.26. Ironically, I'm running on X11 at the moment, but that's fine. Uh, let's go to this brand monitor. No case in back end found. Okay, I suppose that's uh, interesting. Oh, press this thing's to do this. And they've actually still been working on it. Uh, I've got something here to do with display. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, well, let's see what else is here. All the way in programs they have here. Development programs. So, okay. Loads. It's got the whole old KDE4 feeling going on here. Games, card games, graphics, IOF Marty Image Viewer. Why would you have that? No, it's here. What's it found? Double display is still ain't working, okay. Multimedia. Elisa. Okay. Setting. ADSL. Elementary configuration. Fingerprint. System manager. Main menu. Let's go to system. Cairo Dark. Dolphin. Console. And utilities. Arc. Quick. Gcock. Commercial. Main menu. Text file. So if I was to go to console. Okay. It's not. Oh. Yes, yeah, so I'll be using. Quite a bit of memory here. Uh, 758 megs of memory. I suppose it's not too bad. Uh, CPU usage relatively low. We're not this isn't doing much. Only give us the option to log off. So I want to see. Oh, if I click on help. Control key, alt and backspace.
Uh, so let's log in. Okay, this time I'm going to try KD Plasma. Uh, okay. Actually, get something to fix the display here. Yay, display for human beings. Okay, cool. So, and you can even install what Rebecca Lucker is. Oh, that's nasty, folks. Okay, so taking a look here specific Wayland applications, development stuff. Um, and for always for going on here, you can even configure Wayfire. If you want. System settings. So the normal K normal settings and it's just SSC is still relatively more up to date than I think a lot of folks thought it was. And of course that's them still on the oxygen theme. So if I was to go and say breeze, apply that. There we go. Rebecca Black in the uh, modern age. Interesting. The Falcon browser. Pretty much working as well. Wow. I am impressed. Uh, discover. Software Center, you know, come to think about it, I didn't know what Rebecca Black OS was actually ever based on. And able to learn applications. Uh, okay. Let's go with some work. Uh, it was Debian based, Deb. Okay, that makes sense. And this looks like this is based on Debian 11. Ah, uh, bullseye. Oh, uh -huh, interesting. And you can and there's even updates for it. Wow. I'm so shocked. Well, let's take a look properly at what's available. Um so under all Wayland applications, you have uh, elementary tests amongst other applications, so they've definitely bundled a couple of interfaces with it, GStreamer help, KDE Oxygen demo. Okay. Uh, G Streamer, MPV, Nested, Nested Sway, QT6, RDP, Western additional stuff. So that's another way in programs. Uh, development, of course. Forgot stuff from Icon Browser, Fluid Demo, Print Editor, Widget Factory, Node Editor, Compare. What's a task application? This. If you need to compare the differential between two different files, games, patience, graphics, as I showed earlier, uh, I have uh, Marta Image Viewer. They also have ePhoto from Enlightenment as well for the Enlightenment test interface. Color Paint, KDE's Paint Program. Hello. There. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's stylish. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Okay, sorry, a little bit distracted there. Right, this has got that. Um, that was under graphics, internet, of course. Uh, Falcon Conqueror conversation, Conqueror, of course, KD's original web browser, and before Dolphin, the file manager. So those of that have known KDE for years will recognize this application. Okay, multimedia, cheese, dragon player, at least same could be multimedia player, so dragon player, and just simple load the media and play it. Settings, all these different uh for the different interfaces here, of course. If you wanna 
config elementary configuration, even stuff with fingerprints, etc. And of course, there's overlap between some of the interfaces. System, of course, a lot of this uh, KDE stuff here, which makes a lot of sense, really. Uh, even case system guard, which is a system monitor. And you'll see here using 1.2 gigs of memory, which is relatively fair for KDE and low CPU usage. Okay, and then utility. So a lot of uh, duplicates here as well because of the different interfaces. But you've got text editor. You have Puma, which of course is my test text editor. Uh, files as well. So I'm actually going to learn it. No, okay, that's interesting. That's a uh, file manager as well. Calculator, text and flow. Lost and found, Libres demo, and display switch doesn't work. And Libres demo. Who knows what that seems to actually do. And of course, help. So looking here on the desktop, there's an install system, the Calamari installer, which I don't know why it just wants to open up with a text editor. Quite interesting that. What am I doing? Uh, you can also update this. And if I click on that, you can actually it looks like go ahead and actually get this thing still if you want. I'll at least wait until they upgrade this OS uh, to at least Debian 12. Who's it for, folks? I I don't know who it's for anymore, really. Um, I suppose still to really show off quite a bit of Wayland designated and specific applications. Um, and it's not so much a, a, of a joke uh, distribution anymore as it was. I'm, I'm impressed to see have still been handling it. It's still ongoing. It still is a good uh, test to show folks different interfaces pretty quickly out of the box, having them all together and separated. And also a good way if you want to relive more of the old KDE 4 days using Qt5. And of course, if you want uh, some GNOME stuff as well, it even has that uh, available as well as Martin and like my desktop. So good way for testing different desktop environments from one distro. Folks, uh, if you have comments, leave them below. Uh, anything else, let me know. As always, thanks for watching and goodbye for now.